We're here on the shack of VE9CD. Over on the left hand side on the shelf is a 30 amp power supply. Beside that is a an IC7000 transceiver uh, in the center there. Below that is an IG uh, LG uh, tuner and above is a an old Heathkit SWR power meter. To the right of those items I have on top uh, a video uh, camera, external video camera that's connected to the radio uh, which is a little easier to uh, read. Uh, below that an external speaker in a homebrew cabinet and below that again is a um, an audio filter. Next to that, a signal link, uh, an interface that I'm using for uh, digital communications. And then the uh, computer, which is uh, currently monitoring JTDX, uh, software program based on Joe Taylor's uh, WSJTX program, uh, designed for FT8 and JT65 and FT4 and all those good things. Next to that, um, an older um, antenna tuner, which is not in use at the moment. And below that, on the right, is a, a code practice oscillator homebrew. Yeah. Uh, beside that, on the bottom, is a homebrew keyer. And uh, some switches to switch between the um, uh, key and uh, paddles and so on or an another radio if I had a radio uh, on the second radio I could switch to that then uh, a set of uh, bencher paddles and beside that a, uh, a knockoff of a vibroplex uh, bug and a straight key Next to the straight key on the left is a, uh, a switch for external, uh, an external antenna coax uh, uh, switch in the field. Uh, position 1 is a fan dipole for 80 and 40. Below that is a uh, switch 2 is for my vertical antenna which covers from 40 to 10 meters and the position number three is a, a hex beam antenna down further in the field uh, that covers from 20 to 6 meters two elements on each band. Uh, switch number four is for a newly installed 30 meter dipole which has been getting a fair amount of use uh, lately. Next to that is another coax switch, which will switch between uh, the uh, another antenna in the field, a, a loop antenna, 270 foot loop, and uh, the center position connects to the uh, coax control uh, switch there, and a third position on that switch connects to uh, yeah. a uh, a dummy load, uh, which is can't quite be seen behind the microphone there. Uh, the other coax switch is used for um, my main radio or if I have a second radio I can I can connect that to one of the uh, uh, coax uh, uh, connectors there. Um, over the years I've been working on all this uh, wallpaper here which has been a challenge at times. Uh, another set of uh, uh, certificates and, and uh, documents are down there and a few more up here. Uh, some old QSL cards that I've collected from back in the 60s, uh, which I, I, don't, uh, I don't bother with anymore. Uh, all of the uh, uh, logging programs uh, 
uh, are uh, what I use now instead of uh, instead of QSL cards. So that's about it. Uh, if anybody has any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. Thanks for listening.